Again, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to turn the pulse pulse width modulator on uh, pin 13 and attach a slider to it from the ignition HMI and then uh, brighten and dim the LED. So uh, the first thing we do is, uh, I mean, th you'll have to, this is going to use the setup we did uh, when I showed you how to uh, get uh, ignition to run with node red and the pins. So first of all we gotta uh, take the pin because the, the pin 33 or th this one right here um, is genuinely like digital. So we have to turn it into the PWM. So we go here. To do that we're gonna run this uh, this right here, this, this little uh, Python script right here so first we get in there let me see we'll log into that run this it brings up this so our PWM2 is 33 and 0 is 32. We want to come down here. We want to configure the, the pin. Uh, so we do this. There. Configure 40 inch pin expansion header. And then push enter. And it brings up this. Now I already, I've already got, I already picked them right here. Uh, when you, these will be blank when you come down here. So you just pick them. And then you go back, enter, and then you come down here and since we didn't change it, we're gonna exit. There, we wanna exit. But generally it'll, it'll exit, and a lot of times before you exit, if you actually change them when you exit, it'll ask you to save it. And then what happens, once you save it, you'll say yes, and then what happens is it'll ask you to reboot the computer. So then it'll reboot, and one, then the changes will will take into effect. Now to check to make your your for your changes uh, are in effect, um, you can go here and run this little script right here. Where is that? This, and this will bring up the PWM things, and you can see uh, before um, this was like. Uh, this shows here null and null so this kind of shows you what's going on here so anyway so we, we got them configured now what we do is we're going to configure node red so we're going to start node red So no red is starting. Let's refresh this. And then this is how we set it before. So now we're going to set it to pin 33. Pin 33. And I changed my over here. I've changed this to pin 33. And then down here we don't we're not going to be a digital output. We're going to P P W M output. 0 to 100 so we're done and then uh, we'll deploy it again restart the flow okay so now we've hooked up this LED to pin 33 and it should be the PWM so what we'll do is uh, I'm gonna pause this and we're gonna go back over to uh, the my uh, develop machine and we're gonna put a slider in ignition to run it Hello, it's me again. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to... Alright, so now we're over here in the develop machine. So we're going to use this one right here. We're going to use this right here as the number. So this will go from 0 to 100. So first of all, we go over here and we get a slider. 
a slider. Bring it up there. Slider, slider. Where's my slider? There, we got a slider. Okay. Now uh, let's close this. And then here's the properties of my slider 0 to 100. So what we do is uh, I'm going to attach it to this one right here. And then this, uh, you can put numbers in here. This takes numbers. So, so what we're going to do is we'll put that back to zero. And then, uh, let's see. We're going to attach this tag indirect. We're going to go to here. Outputs. We're going to use the second one. Run it by directional. Now we're going to push OK. So now we got this, and it's attached to this. So let's just run it and see kind of what it does. As you can see, this number down here will change as this goes. See, it goes up and down. So. We're going to take this, let's save this, and then it, it will deploy it. So well, let's load this up first here. Our application. Now we're back over here, and you see we made our, our application, and we're going to, oh, let's load this up first here. Let's deploy this again after all the okay so I think we're ready to go what did I do that for all right then we'll go ahead and bring up the application we did launch the project we logged into our server, launch it. And then here's this, and it should light up. There we go. You can see as the slider works. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if it'll do it this way. Anyway, so would you see it work? work, work. So that's just an easy way, that's another cool thing about Ignition and Node-RED and the Nano, I mean you can just do all kinds of stuff with it, so, you know, once you got this going you can use it to run servos and whatever you want. Alright, that's it.